Let's go over the text styles and show you what that will allow you to do whenever you place text into a DGN file. One way you can get to your text styles is to use the place text tool which is either here in your main toolbar or if you go to your construction toolbar you can get it right here. Now we went over some of these other options in another video I'm going to go ahead and change my method back to by origin and the rest of this through here I'm going to go ahead and leave those attributes set. Now to get to your text styles you can either go to this little icon right here inside your place text tool which will bring up the text styles or you can also go underneath the element pull down and get text styles that way. And what this will bring up is the text styles. Normally this is going to be defaulted to styles none. We have some that are underneath here but those aren't being utilized in the MoDOT workforce as of right now. You have the general tab, the spacing tab, under and overline, background and advanced. We'll kind of briefly go through each one of these and we'll go over the background one in a little bit more detail. Underneath the general, you have some general text styles depending on what type of text that you're placing. You got your font, your height and your width, slant justification, and then some other options over to the side here for italicized or if you want to underline underneath there and so forth. Just some general attributes on text if you want to change it. You have the spacing tab, which will have some of your spacings through here and also some toggles over to the side here where you can do fixed spacing you can put your text backwards for whatever reason and some other ones that are, that are through here the underline if you want to put an underline or an overline over top of your text you can do that here's where you can set the attributes to determine what that underline needs to be what color style and weight if you ever need to utilize that that's where that's at the background We'll go back to this one because that's the one we're going to talk about in a little bit more detail. And then the advanced, where you have some advanced options where you can go through here and kind of toggle it the way you want it. Kind of the same thing that you had underneath these tabs that are across the top here. So you can look at that at your own leisure if you wish to do that. Let's go back to the background tab. And there's an option to put a background in here. Right now, whenever we place text, and I come in here and I will just say, um, Let's do place text. And I come out here and I place text by left clicking. Yes, it'll place the text. But there may be certain instances, like for this hatch pattern that's through here, or even an image, where maybe we want to put a, a mask around that text whenever we place it. That way we can see the text over top of that image or that pattern that you have out there. We can do that. I'm going to do a few undos to remove that text. And that's where you would come in here to your text styles and identify that. So you click on the background, and then you're going to have these options that show up. You have your fill color, depending on what type of fill, fill color that you want. We can expand it down, and you can place whatever fill color, fill color that you want for that particular background. If you want to match the background that's attached, to your view that you have opened up you have this one that says B which will stand for the background which is the one that we're going to use you click on it then also down below here you have your background border your X and your Y offset and like what I said before whenever you're you have your line spacing here for your text these two numbers here will be a percentage of what your height and your width of your text is so if you want your text height and width was 0.12 and you want that border around there to be 0.12, the number that you would put in here is 1. 1 for 100%. Or if you want it to be half the height and the width of what this text height and width is, you can do that. You just put in 0.5 instead of 0.1. But like I said, that's just a percentage of what your height and your width of your text is at the top here whenever it places that border around it. And then also you have the color, style, and weight. If you want a border around it, you can do that. If you don't want one, you can change your color to the B again, and you won't have a border around it. So just put a background mask over top of it. 
For this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and change it to red. That way it shows a border around it just to demonstrate how the tool works. But once you have those parameters set, and you come in here and place text again, and we come out here and we place the text, now you'll see that it has a mask around it. So your text shows up a lot clearer whenever you place it. And it's the same thing whenever you place it over top of an image. So basically you'll take that text, put the background with it, and place it over top of that image or that pattern that's out there. Now, after you place that, just like what we did here, whenever we come in here and edit that text, that mask is attached with it. So if I come in here and I use my edit text tool, which is right here in my main toolbar, or if I go to my construction tools, it's right here. And I come in here and I edit a piece of this text. And I left click to accept it. You'll notice that that mask will go with that text. Or if I move it around, I use my element selection tool and I select it and move it. Or if I use my move tool and move that text around, that mask goes with that text. So it's actually attached to it. So that's some of the options underneath the textiles that you can utilize at your leisure. Now, for this instance right here where we use the background, once you're finished doing that, you want to go back in here and go back to your textiles by either going to the element element pull down and go into textiles or of course if you have the place text tool open you can click on this little magnifying glass that says textiles and it brings up the same dialog make sure you go back in here and uncheck that because if you don't have that unchecked any text that you place out there is going to have that mask attached to it so kind of keep that in mind so those are some of the options underneath the textiles that are out there